So I'm planning a video right now on building a theme from scratch. And obviously given that we're now in the age of AI, I went to my favorite AI tool for writing projects from scratch, Vercel's V0. And I saw a button I hadn't seen before, import from Figma. Previously on this channel, in my video on if AI will take my job, I used Locify AI to convert a Figma design into HTML and CSS, and the result wasn't great. But having used V0 before and having great results, I decided to load in a design, the same design from my responsive web development module on ShopifyThemeDeveloper.com, and the result was surprising. It did a pretty good job. So needless to say, I've made my students aware of this and added a new video to the responsive web development module to address this and in this video i want to discuss what this means for developers now that ai is getting better and better what does it mean for the world of shopify theme development Maybe it's just me, but personally it feels like there's been a surge of buzz around AI-assisted development recently. In fact, I just found out about a week or so ago about this new term, vibe coding, which is a nice little buzz phrase to describe exactly that, writing code with AI prompts over actual code. Obviously, I looked into AI-assisted development about five months ago on this channel, but the developments in AI are moving so fast, it's important to constantly check back in, continue to look at how it can help us as developers, and also inform us on how our role will change once certain tasks become automated by AI in the future. On my video on what it is that Shopify developers actually do, I talk about implementing custom designs on Shopify as one of the main job functions as a Shopify developer. So seeing V0 start to do this quite well using AI, it's obviously time I updated my view on how AI will transform Shopify theme development. This past week, I created my first Shopify app in years using V0. I find these kinds of tools are quite good at understanding common web development languages and frameworks, and it represents a huge disruption to the industry of software development. But that being said, this doesn't necessarily translate to Shopify themes. Shopify theme development is a bit of a niche area of coding. And so as far as I know, there's not currently a tool where you can generate a Shopify theme from scratch the way you can do so for a web app. If I ask V0, for instance, to create a Shopify theme for me, it completely misunderstands the assignment and creates a React app with TSX files and React components. It doesn't actually write any liquid code and it has no idea about theme folder structure. Now, of course, V0 is developed by Vercel, the company responsible for Next.js, and so I'm probably using the wrong tool for the job. That being said, if I simply ask it to import from a Figma file and build some basic HTML and CSS, it actually does quite a good job. It's not perfect, but it is properly responsive. The only thing is that the desktop and the mobile designs are in different frames, and I can only link one frame at a time. V0 also assumes you want a React app, so you just need to also specify that you want it as basic HTML and CSS. Now that we have the responsive HTML and CSS code, the next step is to actually fit this into an actual Liquid file and update the code to use Liquid where appropriate. Like I said, as far as I'm aware, besides local tools like Cursor and GitHub Copilot, which we covered in the last video on AI-assisted development, there is no V0 equivalent for writing themes completely from scratch. But my prediction at the end of that video is still the same. Similar to how Vercel's V0 is good at producing Next.j apps from scratch because they founded Next.js, I think the most likely scenario is that Shopify themselves will be the one to develop a tool that does something similar, but for Shopify themes. When will this happen? I have no idea, but I think it's pretty safe to assume that it will happen in the future. Which brings me to the future of Shopify theme development and what this means for Shopify developers moving forward. As I've mentioned in my previous videos on the subject, creating responsive layouts in HTML and CSS is probably the most time consuming part of my job. And honestly, I don't actually mind AI taking this part of my job because it's actually the most repetitive and boring of the tasks that I do. Maybe when you build your first section, it's fun, but after building probably over a hundred sections by now, it starts to get pretty old. So will AI take that part of my job? Most likely. I mean, it's pretty much already here with tools like Vercel's V0. At least it does 80 to 90% of my job for me for this particular area of my work. The next part of my job writing Shopify Liquid and JSON code is something that AI is already helping me with. In terms of JSON, AI tools seem to understand JSON quite well. So I find AI particularly useful when writing section schemas. 
These days, if I'm writing a new section, I write the schema using a detailed prompt in GitHub Copilot. So combining that with the last step, I can use a tool like V0 to generate the HTML and CSS for a section and then use GitHub Copilot to write the schema, but I will still need to replace the static content in my section with the new section variables. Until I can find a tool to build a custom section complete with HTML, CSS, Liquid, and JSON with a single prompt, I will have to keep using a combination of tools. Writing common JavaScript patterns to go inside Liquid templates and sections is also something that the current AI tools can help with. The only issue I find with all of these tools is solid domain expertise when it comes to the Shopify platform. Which brings me to the final part the platform itself. Shopify themes are built to plug in and work with dynamic data that is stored in the Shopify store itself. And as a developer on the Shopify platform, I still spend a lot of my time inside the admin. This leads into the architecting custom solutions part of my role. This is the higher level thinking, the solution design, the part where you coordinate with the store admins to get buy-in on what they are comfortable working with from the admin perspective. This part has nothing to do with code and everything to do with systems architecture. It's utilizing the best solution at the time and it's constantly changing. So this part already has adaptation to developments in AI written all over it. So bringing this all together, how might the role of a Shopify theme developer change with the evolution of AI? Well, assuming my prediction is correct, that Shopify or someone else will release a tool that will generate themes from scratch with a simple prompt, similar to how V0 does it with Next.js apps, then we will just be able to do our job faster. You see, my belief is that it's more true that your job will be stolen by humans who use AI more than AI itself. The latter assumes that the business owner, the store owner in this case, has the technical know-how to understand how to write in the prompts and to understand the resulting code that comes back. When it comes to the coding side of things, even if the code is 80 or even 90% perfect, how is a business owner going to know how to fix the remaining 10 to 20%? They are still going to need to work with people who understand Shopify theme development. Plus, I find that most business owners don't really want to deal with the tech anyway and are happy to just hire someone else to handle it. Then when it comes to the Shopify platform itself, Shopify is already set up to be as easy as possible and the platform is always improving, whether it's because of AI or some other advancement. So the non-coding part of the job, I don't really see as going anywhere. The big disruption that AI brings to this world of Shopify theme development is the writing of the code. And I don't know if a single prompt will ever produce 100% perfect code. Even if it cuts down on 99% of the time it takes me to code themes, I will still be required to provide that 1% tune up. And this is why I believe AI will shift my role more than eliminate it. You see, one of the issues I face as a Shopify theme developer is scaling my business to more stores, given how long it takes me to write code. As I've talked about in other videos, there are millions of Shopify stores, and I could be working on a lot more of them if I wasn't so bogged down in writing code. So for me, I see it as something that's not necessarily going to take my job, but make the solutions I provide much faster to produce and therefore allow me to work with a larger suite of clients. As I mentioned at the start of the video, I've added a lesson on using V0 to create custom layouts from Figma to the responsive web development module on my course. But as a developer, you'll still need to understand the resulting code that V0 or any other tool gives you in order to take that 80 to 90% finished product and get it over to 100%. If we compare using AI tools to hiring junior developers, we will still need to understand what we're outsourcing as a senior developer. We can't just trust that the junior developer or the AI in this case knows exactly what they are talking about. Therefore, this is another reason why I suggest my students to position themselves as Shopify experts, not just web developers or coders. As a freelancer or employee providing solutions on the Shopify platform, you're not paid really to write code. You're paid to solve problems. And I think if you focus simply on solving problems for your client, you'll always have a role to play. As for the code itself, themes are still written in HTML, CSS, JavaScript, JSON, and Liquid. So I still recommend you learn these languages and how they work within Shopify themes. AI is not the first tool to ever help developers write code faster. And just like relying on any web development tool, you can always get caught out by not understanding what is really happening behind the scenes. So while AI tools might write 80 to 99% of the code for us in future, I still believe it's not exactly a substitute for learning to code. 
But as always, guys, I will keep you up to date with the latest advancements here on YouTube. And if you'd like to learn more about my courses, simply head to shopifythemedevelop.com to check out the modules. Happy coding, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.